Transportation is the most urgent issue that Hong Kong faces nowadays. The development of city has been expanding over time, which left a big gap between transportation infrastructure and the increased population density during urbanization process. The first issue is the unbalanced development of road infrastructure network between north and south in Yangon. From chessboard road network in colonial periods, the city keeps sprawling towards the north in 100 years. In downtown, wide roads were constructed for large traffic floors. However, only narrow and shabby roads existed in the south part like Dala. If we look at the connections between different transport modes, the second issue we can find is your less coordinated network plans. Different transit modes were separated by blocks in Yangon. Thus, people have limited choices to transfer. Bicycles and motorbikes are dominant in Dala. Across the river, only automobiles are allowed in CBD because of the motorcycle ban. And the railway is only at the periphery of downtown. The poor transfer accessibility among different modes caused the emergence of informal transits. Moreover, users' experience matters in the circulation of Yangon. Thus, the unsatisfied user's experience of traffic modes is the third issue. If we compare the user's preference in Yangon and other cities, we can see walking is the most popular mode. However, not like in Copenhagen, here people work because current transportation infrastructure cannot meet their commuting needs. People like to take buses because bus line is intensive. However, commuters complain that they will usually stop in downtown when they commuting in the north-south direction at peak hours and the overcrowded bus taking experiences. 1% usage of railway shows that it didn't serve as mass rapid transit. Residents suffered from the slow speed. It commonly takes 3 hours to have a run. Now let's look at how the 2014 Future Transportation Plan is going to tackle these issues. In order to respond to the population and economy growing like other metropolitans in Asia, Yang Kong government aims to increase the rate of cars and public transportation. Upgrade the overall transportation infrastructure by building a radiation network with new highways and subways. However, as the least developed part of future network, Dala area enjoys potential, especially on daily water transit after the relocation of cargo function in Old Yangon Port. Even the new subway and highway are coming. The connection between three areas will still mainly depend on ferries, which haven't got enough attention till now. It is anticipated that, with the developed regional waterway in this area as other opportunity, Dala area will be crucial to Yangon's transportation infrastructure in the future. However, the developing strategy of Dala will still be a regional challenge. <laughs>